pleasure to meet y'all at last. And right now, I mean, I don't know about you, but this is yet another question out there that is going to be rather, like, aggravating for me. Because, simply put, this is, in fact, a question that is going to have to force me to dive on into such... I don't even know at this point. I just don't even know how to properly speak to my own camera. I'm able to see myself on it. But that's not really going to help much because anyways, this is simply put question number 46 and this user actually wants to know a lot about me in terms of well, what kind of music I like. Well, there already is quite a huge bunch of music that I happen to really love all the time, but There are, in fact, quite a few genres out there that I'm not going to grow up with, and therefore I'm not going to like. So anyways, the question down here says, Why is that you have such spiteful perspectives against rap, country, and metal music? <sighs> you know what? I don't really know why you guys wanted me to do this, but let's just do it. Let's just get it all over with, get it out of the way, force the weight off my chest and shoulders and probably my spine too because it's killing me right now it kills me to even talk about any of this stuff because I just despise rap country and metal music because after all if this one video has not made sense to you Well then, I really don't even know what will at this point, because after all, not even two years have passed since that video had taken place, and I had actually gotten quite a lot of viewership out of it. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. That video right there, all it was was just a reaction against an Elton John-style Snickers commercial, but the real kicker to it was the fact that, well... Elton John was one of my favorite artists that I really got into by 2018. And that same year, I was able to see Elton John, well, on an actual candy commercial. I thought that was brilliant, actually. To put a great singer into a great candy bar, put them together as one. Just like salt and pepper, pretty much. But anyways... The real kicker about it was that, well, man, Elton John was basically shown to not be someone when they're hungry. That really, that really set me on fire. Fire that was downright, right here in the skull, it was just crawling right out. I pretty much just had to let all the stress because I was just so surprised that, well, how bad it was. That commercial was freaking horrible. And pretty much to make matters worse, I mean, there has been a lot of recent things that I've checked on for research. Yeah, research. In which I found songs all over the place. That apparently don't even sound like what they're classified as. There are songs I've found that don't sound anything like rap. There's ones that don't sound anything like country or metal. And there's like nothing at all in connection with metal, country, or rap. And yet they have the guts to classify them by those flipping genres. I mean, what could even be worse? There's a song by an artist known as Golden called City of Angels and... <sighs> I really hate to associate with it, but I'm going to put a link down in the description box below and you can get on right back to me and tell me if that actually classifies or even qualifies as rap music. It sounds nothing like it. It sounds nothing like it, especially the vocals. They sound more harmonious than what actual rapping sounds like. And as for metal and country, well... Supposedly, there's been a lot of, well, well, music that I've been seeing recently 
It sounds like actual rock, mostly alternative rock, but somehow they want to call it metal. I mean, the tempo's not even high enough on that. We all know that the tempo on metal music is at least 500 BPM. At least. 500, 600 BPM. I mean, the tempo is the highest when it comes to metal music. That's a signature trademark that's been known about the genre since the mid-90s, when it was prominent. And prefer that there were things like thrash and punk. They were best classified by bands out there like Metallica, or Suicidal Tendencies, or Megadeth, or Slayer, or many others out there at the time. Metallica practically invented the genre of metal because of their name. Because after all, it was by the mid-90s where the very high tempo started to pick up and after all, if you've not seen the movie Ace Ventura Pet Detective, then that's basically where the real origin took place. A really high metal band was at a concert and Jim Carrey was right there in the movie. But anyways, if I gotta say anything about country, then well, it's outdated. Enough said. Country music was so, like, 19th century, pretty much. But here, where technologies evolved, where lots of things have taken over, and so many other advancements have basically changed the way history happens now, why would you want to bring something back like that? I mean, if you're going to bring back something like that, then you might as well bring back every other source of music that we've had back then, in the past. I'm talking about, well, everything from history. Not just the 19th century, but also go for 18th century, 17th century, 16th century, 15th century, 14th century, 13th century, 12th century, 11th century, 10th century, 9th century, and so on and so forth. The many millenniums that we travel through, the tens of thousands of years that history has been around for humanity itself, probably even millions. Because why would you want to stop at certain points in history like that? That's probably going to be a mystery that I might not be able to solve on my own. But anyways, rap, metal, and country just sucks. A big one. No kidding around. They deserve to be outlawed by all common sense here. Not just with the cussing and bad influences, but... With hundreds of other things. I mean, they bring up a lot of stereotypes. They bring up a lot of, well, mediocrity and hypocrisy. And there's just hundreds of other attributes to it that always apply to these genres that makes them not worthy of listening to even for just one brief second. I'm not ever going to listen to them in my life. No way. There's not ever going to be a way where I'm ever going to have a time in my life where I'm ever going to listen to that stuff. All right? So just don't expect me to ever put on any of those things. If you want me to put on music, put on anything like good bands, for example. Like Anne Berlin, Bush, All American Rejects, Weezer, Plain White Tees, All Time Low, and dozens of others. I mean, there's hundreds of bands out there that exist here in today's time. And as for others, well, aside from rock, actual rock, that is, never metal, thrash, or punk, that is, they're synthwave, EDM, pop, and dozens of others here and there. That's good music in a nutshell. Everything else just sucks. Rap does not deserve a place to be here in the present when it was already great back then. And the same thing goes for metal. Their places were from the 90s and probably the 2000s as well. Country has like no place here either. So that's pretty much it, what I got to say about that. And I feel a lot better now because, well, I mean, just letting all that out was just the right thing to do for me. Even if it not seemed like it was pure entertainment for all of you. But if you have come this far here on this episode of Why Is That, then, well, consider the fact that, well, if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.